as long as it doesn't jump it. All right, don't jump it, don't jump it, don't jump it, don't jump it. Come down, here it comes. Hello, YouTube. Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Beamin' G Drive. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today, I have a treat for you guys because we have four really awesome mods. So the first mod is actually the map itself. This is called the Proving Grounds, which I think it's basically a vehicle test track that you're going to be really, really lucky to get to the end of. So we've got that. Obviously, you can see down here we have a new limousine, which looks amazing. And we've got something else that's completely nutty. And yeah, that's a huge cannon, which we played with the cannon before but not this size. Check this out. The cannonball is bigger than a car. So you know we gotta try that out. And last but not least, we've got another explosive here. This is a crash harder explosive. And yeah, it's adjustable. So we have all the different crash harder things from the, uh, the shed, the maps, but now we have explosives. And I'm excited to try this out. Now we will try this out on a crash harder map in the future while doing a race. But I just wanted to pull it out for this episode so you guys could see it. So if you guys have any suggestions for future BeamNG episodes, comment below. And while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button. And let's see if this vehicle can handle this track. All right, this is a horrible idea. So we got a limousine. I already see speed bumps. Do you guys think that we're going to be able to make it through the whole course? I'm going to go with a no. All right, here we go. First speed bumps. Okay, not bad. Uh, what is this? Okay, that's a bit of a jump. Oh, okay, there goes the window. I mean, I could make it through the course if I was being slow, but I don't want to be slow. All right, we've got something red coming up here. Oh, these are potholes. Oh, no. What is that supposed to be? Ah, we have a no texture there. Am I supposed to go in the water? Okay, this is fine. There we go. I might have cut the course just a little bit. What the heck are these? <laughs> I'm watching the... Uh, not the rims, the uh, the covers on the rims fly off. Uh, that is awesome. You know, I'm surprised. This uh, limousine's got quite a bit of pickup on it. All right, looking for the next obstacle, and oh no. All right, here we go. No, no, okay, we're good. Could you imagine trying to ride in the back of this? That would be horrible, and was I supposed to activate these? Wait. How are you supposed to get through this? Hold on. I guess we need to activate these real quick. Uh, this is going to be deadly. So definitely if you're in a tall vehicle, you're not clearing this. I don't think we're going to clear this. Like this is a part of the proving grounds map where I'm like, do you survive? So if I was in a pigeon, I might be able to make it through and oh no. All right, we've got to take this one slow. Oh no. <laughs> it's so close. Okay. I think we can do this. All right, and then go right there we go. Yeah, if you have a tall vehicle or a wide vehicle, you're not making it through that. No, here we go. Banked corner with uh, bumps on it. Now, this is great. Uh, I got a chicane. Is that a huge jump up there? Uh, I believe it is. Oh, am I supposed to hit this hard or? Oh, yeah, I got to clear it. There we go. And another big jump coming up. Whee! <laughs> oh, no, don't flip. I must say, the limousine is a tough cookie, and I think we're coming around to the end. Hold on, is there something else that's going to trick us here? Stay vigilant, look around. Any potholes? Oh, and I think we are really coming up to the end. I kind of want to run that with the pre-runner. Like, I feel like that'd be a fun course. All right, we got some bumps here. Nothing too bad. Oh, that's going to hurt. All right, I feel like we're coming around to the cannon. I I think that's where we're at. I don't know, I think this track's a little deceiving. Oh no, did I just break something? No, we're good. We are 100% good. There's the cannon up there. And you know what? The limousine has gone through the proving grounds. And hold on, hit, hit the explosive. There it is! <laughs> yeah, we made it to the end. Was there anything else? Oh, there were some small speed bumps, but that wasn't a big deal. Well, we also uh, got to test out the other mod. So let's go ahead and move on to it. So Crash Harder, which I need to get the name. I'm assuming the name is Crash Harder of the person that creates these. Uh, but I'll have a link down in the description for the mods. Yeah, we always try the Crash Harder map. You got the one, you got the 2.0. There's like a shed and I'm pretty sure there's some other props. 
but this is the newest one. This is an explosive. So what you saw there was just one of the settings on this thing. So we played with contact mines last week and they were pretty devastating, but this one, you can really jack it up. So here, let's just hit it one more time. Okay, this is normal. There you go. Pretty big explosion, I must say. It looks a little bit better once you hit it at full speed, but let's go ahead and reset it. And then if we go to this menu here, check this out, we go to tuning. So yeah, that was pretty uh, small there. It wasn't at the minimal setting, but it was not high at all. Now, if we go up to here, I don't know what that means. What's NM? I just know this is explosive power. So let's try it now. I have a feeling this might launch the car. Oh, we wanna get a running start. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have to set up a race with explosives here in the future. Uh, kinda like the mine race, but here we go. Oh boy. And boom! <laughs> you know what? I think that would be much more effective if I had it actually on the ground. Yeah, you could see the little uh, metal piece it's on. I sliced into the car with it. That was a pretty decent explosion though. All right, let me see if I can move it real quick. Here we go. So I've got it down on the ground. So I should pass more over it and I think it's gonna launch me. So at least that's the hope. All right, here we go. Full speed. Let's hit the explosive and let's launch ourselves. I should probably get out of first gear. And second gear, or third gear, and boom, yes! Oh, that's gonna work so good during races. That was awesome. So imagine going like 200 miles an hour and hitting that thing. I wonder how far you would go. I almost feel like we need to go to the grid map where we have a, a wide open area and test that. Maybe at the end of this episode, depending on how long this takes. So we should probably go on to our next mod. So. It's a cannon. What else is there to say about it? I mean, we've played with the cannon before, much smaller, and I don't even know if I still have it. Do I have that cannon on me? Let me see if it's still here. I don't think it's default with the game. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have the big, large cannon, but I'm talking about the old cannon. This bad boy here. Yeah, the size difference is astronomical. Like, it's so much bigger. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and slow down time, and I think I click A, and that's gonna launch this. So let's go A, uh-oh, A, am I going too slow? I might need to reset it here, let's reset it. All right, I think we're good, hold on, let's lift this up a bit. All right, there we go, we got controls now. All right, so let's slow down time, All right, here we go. Boom, oh no. Dude, that is incredible. Oh, we overshot big time. That's... Amazing how far that's gonna go. Hold on, let it go full speed. That's gonna be so devastating. Too bad these things couldn't auto reload themselves. All right, so what do we think it's gonna do to the car? Yeah, you know what? I think, here, let me move this over. Does it drive? It steers. Oh, oops, accidentally shot the cannon again, my bad. You know what, let's see where this cannon round goes. When we reset this, it lands, oh almost over the guardrail, but that's a pretty good spot. All right, so the limo's going here. I'm trying to figure out what car would be able to withstand this. I kind of think I know the answer to that, but we'll have to see. Hans, reset this one more time. All right, so it looks like the uh, limo needs to go up about another five feet. Eh, let's go about 10 feet here. There we go. All right, parking brake is on and we are ready to fire. So let's go here, slow this down. I want to be able to see this and fire. All right, what is it gonna do to the limo? Man, if you looked over and saw that coming towards you, I'd just scream and just give up. All right, it's definitely gonna, I think, hit. It might drop short though. Is it gonna bounce? Oh boy, oh, it's rolling. Oh, here we go, limo time. <laughs> no chance whatsoever. Okay, so I guess our only option, which car or truck is it going to be? What's going to be able to withstand that impact? I kind of want to try the Cybertruck. Like, that thing's so tough. I mean, a part of it being tough is the whole fact that it's an automation mod. And those vehicles are typically a little bit tougher than the uh, normal Beam and G ones. But let's just see what happens. All right, putting the Tesla Cybertruck into position. Probably about right here is good. All right, we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and slow down time. 
And switch over to the cannon. Okay, cannon's ready to fire. Oh, boy. So, do you guys think this is going to actually work? Are you going to be able to survive in a Tesla Cybertruck against a cannon? Cannon's on its... Uh-oh. Cannon looks to be a little behind. I think the cannon might have shifted. Hold on. Hold on. Can I reverse this in time to get hit? No. Oh, buddy. Well, we know where it's going now. All right. This one appears to be more on target here. It might hit more towards the back. But it's question of, does it bounce? All right, come on. Oh, no, it's going to skim over it. And... Oh, are you kidding me? We had to have missed by inches there. Oh, it's coming back. Hold on. It might still get its vengeance. Oh, there it goes. It hit it on the way back. You're kidding me, right? That's as close as you can get. All right, let's move back, I guess. All right, let's reset this. All right, we need to move. Why is my reverse? My reverse. I think it broke something on the car. There it goes. Okay, I need reverse. All right, let's angle it with it. That's got to be close right there. Yeah, I can't, I'm always, like, behind it, it seems. So maybe about right there. Yeah, definitely using the grid map would probably be a little bit easier. That way we have the grid lines to kind of see where we're going. All right, we're looking more on target here. This is going to be a direct hit. As long as it doesn't jump it. All right, don't jump it. Don't jump it. Don't jump it. Don't jump it. Come down. Here it comes. Oh! What? Oh, yep. Okay, so even an automation mod cannot hold up against that. If that would have been a little bit further down, it would have completely smushed it. Like, look at that. All right, so I think we can safely say a Cybertruck is not strong enough to withstand that. I guess one more thing that we need to do before we go to the grid map real quick... Let's run one lap in the Cybertruck against this track. All right, here we go. Cybertruck versus the test track. I feel like we're going to be a little too fast for this track. Okay, don't flip it over. Whee! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, okay, that did not last as long as I thought it was going to. Yep. So I actually have to let off now. All right, I got to be really, really careful. So let's go over the jump. There we go. And then we got another jump here. Don't flip. Don't flip. Okay. We're good. All right. I think we'll go right over the potholes here. So let's go wee over those. Oh, hit the brakes. Oh, we don't have to worry about the water here. Oh, did I just bust a tire? No, I think I'm good. Yep. We'll power right through this. Oh, it's so tough. Uh, we'll go right over these. No, nope, no problem. No problem with these. And we're going to come around. Come on, turn, you beast. All right. Yep, handling it like a charm. I'm a little worried about the, the spinny thing section because this is a rather tall vehicle and a little wide, but we're going to try it. Oh, oh, hit the brakes. Okay. Oh, no. All right, we got this. All right, don't screw this up. All right, the gap looks a lot smaller now. Ooh, man. Oh, buddy. Yeah, we did it. And we'll just go right through the banking, through the bumps. Oh, yeah, no problem. All right, we got one more really cool section. Let's go ahead and hit the jump here. So we'll go through here. Let's hit this one, and then I want to hit this one at a higher speed. So let's go all the way, and wee -hee -hee. Oh, like a charm, and oh, okay. I just overshot that a little bit. It's fine. Up, oh, up, oh, turn, turn, turn. Oh, no, we're still, oh, broke it. You know, it would have definitely made it through the track. That was morally my fault. All right, let's go to the grid map. All right, so we have the explosive once again. I told you guys we're going to turn it up to max, and then we're going to hit it here in the grid map. So let's do this. All right, hill climb car. I think I know which grid that's on. Let's do a 180 down here. So, yo, some really fantastic mods. The cannon's awesome. If you guys can think of any ideas with that, uh, maybe we can race the cannonballs down the hill. Actually, it would be nice just to have the, the cannonball itself by kind of by itself and then just drop a ton of them down that big crash harder hill. Like, I feel like that would be amazing. All right, here we go. Okay, I think we should be about right here. So how far do you guys think we're gonna go? I have a feeling it's gonna be really far. Okay, look for it. Look for it. I see it. Uh, I'm gonna hit it directly. There it is, and whoa! Oh no! So maybe the faster you go, you don't catch as much air. Maybe that's what it is. Wow. That looked like it hurt. 
yep, we will definitely be playing with that more here in the future. But like I said, links are down in the description for the mods used today. Thank you guys for all the love and support. We'll see you guys next time in BeamNG.